you know, as little as this thing is, if that cap was to come off, it, 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 it's called you death. Hang on. I need another string. Go in there under the bed and cut me off a piece of that gray string. How about this? That'll work. That's it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I learned this trick right here off that Snuffy Smith shit in the newspaper. <laughs> Comic strip. Yeah. Tell him that. I don't care if it's leaking. Yeah. Anybody want a cold Pepsi? I'll take one. Yeah, they better fly high. Now you talk about some high shots, I'd bet you money it's 190 proof. Oh yeah. That's a clearing up now, ain't it, Neil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty. How you first jars always got that color out of them park holes, ain't I learned from the best. I ain't a bragging or nothing, but you damn sure did, cause ain't nobody <laughs> can beat me at it. That's the only thing in my life that I can brag about, is my liquor. Ain't nobody can beat me. That's coming out of, not as big as a match stem right now, the fires are going down, but uh, you're not supposed to run it on a small pot like that, no bigger than a match stem. Because if, if you run any faster, it makes your liquor meaner the faster you run it. Makes it fire you to burn the hell out of you. But uh, this right here is gonna be second to none because nobody will never do this again. This is the last time I'm gonna ever do it. I mean, I'm not able to do it. Like I told Neil just if it hadn't been for Bill and his brother James, I couldn't have had this here. No way. Well, I mean, JB could have had it, but it took us a whole damn month, at least. It took us at least, at least a month to get to watch here. How many jars of liquor do you think you've made in your life? The hell far. I don't even guess they make numbers that damn long. Better ask me one time. <laughs> Said, you got any liquor? I said, I'll tell you what you do. I said, you bring your 18 wheeler and I'll bust the damn tires on it. <laughs> and that's a little bit of liquor. But I ain't got no more now. I've quit. Too many goddamn nosy son of bitches after me. Telling on me. Whatever. Yeah, because when you go to temperate, that tells you which jar is highest, higher. See, as you go backwards, that means it's higher. Like if you not got number 10 jar here, number nine's higher than it was. Number eight's higher than nine was. All the way back, see. I may run 14 on this one because that's some awful damn good slop. Well, I call it slop. You can call it beer, mash. Hell, it's, I call it everything. <clears throat> some of this liquor I've heard of, I've heard them name, different names for it, like painter piss and who shot John? <laughs> block and tackle. You drink about a pint of it and walk a block and tackle any damn thing you see. <laughs> and, uh, mule, uh, white mule, I've heard you call that. And two cats are fighting. Oh, I have many names for it. Splo. Alley Jim. Ah. Uh, can't think of more right now. I will like to five, maybe. I'm getting old and senile as hell. I can't remember nothing anymore. I've got that CRS disease. I meet up with it. Can't remember shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've made all kinds of liquor in my time. 
I just thought that ain't smile, man. But anyway, I made the fighting kind, the loving kind, the crying kind. I even made some one time and sold it to this couple. They was happily married the next damn week they was divorced. <laughs> what kind are you making today? Well, this I'm gonna make today got four damn fights to a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, four fights to a damn pint. That's pretty good. That's still Bill. Right, <laughs> Number five. I'd say we got nine more jars to go. Oh, I ain't checked yet. Mm -hmm. Get the get the they hell far. A little better hunting proof still, huh? What? <sighs> They shit for that's about the same as number one, ain't it? Just almost. <laughs> See them big beads, how fast they go away? That means it's high up to 180. Yo. Take you a drink of that and let me know what. To... No, I need to ride off the mountain and not. Oh, he just takes a taste of it, he don't get drunk. Law, law. <laughs> That's some of the best. No, I, I'm just getting it on my tongue, understand? I, I ain't getting nothing. I hope you drank it. Oh, if I'd get a good shot of it, that whoo! You drank that half, <laughs> half, half, that, half of that teacup right yonder full of that. You'd not get off this damn mountain, I guarantee you. No, you'd be laying somewhere. You'd be piled up right over in them weeds. <laughs> there ain't been none of this made. I've never seen none made like this, only I've seen how many times. Me and Lethe Hicks made some at the river. And me and J.B. made some at the Museum of Appalachia. And this run here, that's the only three, three runs I've ever seen made with wood, anyway. I mean, me and Lethe made a lot of runs with wood. But this is my third setup at it. Uh, and besides, we, we only tempered one run with water, me and Lethe, because if you temper it back and you end up with a lot more liquor. So that's what we done. We we was going at it for the volume. See? Of course it's still fine liquor, fine liquor. But it's even finer if you do it this way with temperate with water. Now a long time ago back when me and JB made before I quit, I got caught the last time in ninety eight and I just quit. So but we'd run a gallon every two and a half to three minutes. A whole damn gallon, not a jar, a whole <laughs> gallon. I know it spit them out. And if you run your liquor hot, it makes it mean. If you ain't got the, enough water to keep that worm getting to it, when you run it hot, it makes it mean fire than hell. It'll burn your throat out to drink it. After we get this tempered, I'm more take me a, about a half a damn teacup full of it and drink it if it knocks my ass plum off them weeds. Run that for a long, long time. Yep. I had an old 46 model Willis Jeep and it had a pinhole deep in the gas tank. It was under the driver's seat. And uh, I'd pour a gallon of gas in it that morning when I left Cosby. And it'd take me all the way to the top of Snowbird Mountain, that one gallon would. All right. I always kept me another gallon in the back of it so I could pour it in that evening when I had a dog snowbird to get back to Cosby again. <clears throat> so I happened to look. Damn, I'd forgot to set my gallon of gas in there. And I hadn't tempered the liquor. I just set it in the Jeep, and I had it numbered like that. The jugs, I had it in gallon glass jugs, and I had them numbered. Number two is your highest jug, and number three. Number one's got a little bit of condensation in it out of the worm, but two and three is kick-ass liquor, I shots. I poured that number two jug in there. No the Jeep wouldn't start, no way. It didn't have no compression in the motor. You always had to roll it off the start. You had to park it on a hill or you wasn't going to start it. I, poured, I just had to pour that gallon of shots in there. I pushed it 